Okay, good morning. This is Gene from Tucson, Arizona, and this is part six of Gene's Birds. I have a very large backyard, and I have many feeders, and what I do is just make movies of birds. Tucson birds, quails, cactus wrens, our state bird cactus wren. Once in a while I'll pick up a rattlesnake in the yard or maybe quails with their new families. This is the time of the year where the quails are familyizing and they leave their they leave their shells, eggshells where the babies were because they're afraid of our coyotes. Those mean coyotes they'll come there and eat all the babies so what they do is after they hatch their babies they will move on to a new location so the coyotes won't attack their little babies while I'm talking now you have two up music in the background with my favorite stuff and I'm going to explain a little bit about Gene's birds and uh, it's not going to take that long right over there you can see that um, I have a bird bath and uh, I have a a figure frog on top, and on top of that I have a cup full of seed, and they've already, I go through 50 pounds of seed a, a week, and I love these birds. Uh, I have bird bells, and I'm going to switch over there, and let you see that. Above that is a hummingbird feeder, they wouldn't dare come around here, there's too many birds. Uh, as I said, I live in Tucson, Arizona, and we've experienced real beautiful spring. Windy, yes, windy and windy, but we don't have that 100 degree weather yet that we're supposed to have this time of year. It usually gets up to 108, 110, and uh, all I do is paint when that happens. I'm an artist. I paint, I do collage, I do acrylics, and you'll see me on YouTube and MySpace. I do uh, silly things. Yoda Star Wars won an award on uh, YouTube. Now I'm going to show you my, um, no, I have a Medicap, I'm sorry. I'm going to show you my birdhouse. This is Gene's birdhouse. If you haven't seen it on the other fives, this is constructed of styrofoam and wood. And you can see the colors on top. Uh, I'm an artist, as I said, and I just love color. Uh, they're swinging on a bird bell that has to be replaced, and I have what we call suet cages. Uh, they love the suet cages, and I love it too, because I don't have to feed them all the time eat off the suet. And uh, we get some beautiful birds. Now there's a bird now that has just landed on the suet cage and uh, another one. And they come all over. Now we have a bird right here in our front window that's here. And he's decided to stay long enough for me to take him. You see there he goes. Now he's, he's got a red head. Um, I think I mentioned the music in the background is doo-wops. It's 60s music. And that's my era, that's what I love. I'm not very old, but I love that music. We don't see any quails here today or rattlesnakes. They have a war. Now we have a roadrunner that can tear apart a rattlesnake. And once in a while we can film that. So you'll have to keep tuning in to see that happen because I'm at a spot where they don't know where I'm at. I'm inside my house filming these beautiful birds uh, from my computer room. Um, let's get back to my Jean's birdhouse. Okay, I love this house. I don't know how I did this, but... Um, it's a birdhouse, like I said, was constructed of styrofoam. Now, if you notice in the center, there's two mirrors. Uh, where I got that idea, I have no idea. Maybe when I was drunk someday, but I put the mirrors in there, and they love the mirrors. They love them. And, uh, they have all kinds of bird seed in there, and you'll see there's a perch there that, uh, they perch on when it gets too crowded. Um, I'm going to go back and catch a bird up here. Boy, am I lucky today. He's not moving. Uh, he's up on top under my awning and waiting to eat. Now, there's so many birds this morning. Like I said, I just got back from Laughlin four days trip there, and uh, these birds are hungry. And fortunately, I filled up the feeders to the top. This, I can't believe there's four birds on one feeder. Usually there's only two or three. They'll fight each other until they shouldn't be moving this camera too much, but they'll fight each other until one wins and he gets the food. And um, we have birds all over today. I mentioned in uh, Jean's Bird Bath, Jean's Birds 2, that in my bird bath has been reconstructed from a uh, frog that I bought from Food City. That's right, a green frog. He's sitting on top of the bird bath with a cup in his feet holding seed, which is what I know was meant for water, but right now 
they're hungry, so I'm going to give them a seed first and water later. I feed them three times a day, and um, they just love my yard and my seed. In my yard, I have several orange trees, palm trees, and mesquite trees. Now, mesquite, as you know, in Tucson is the kind of mesquite that we barbecue with. It's a very sweet wood, and uh, it's, it's a great great thing to uh, barbecue, burn wood, but it's not like the Palo Verde. If you guys know anything about Tucson, Arizona, you'd be here, because this is the greatest place in the country to live. The only thing that's missing is oceans. Now, I live in Rocky Point, Mexico, and I've got to shut this off because I'm running this tape too long. And maybe on the next tape, I'll tell you what I did with Yoda Star Wars in Rocky Point. Now, if you want to get Yoda Star Wars, look me up on YouTube. I am in Yoda Star Wars. It's award-winning film. Conversion from a Stingray to Yoda. Done in five minutes and sold in a half hour for $100. I'm an accomplished, retired, sort of summer retirement. I, well, I can't tell you my age, but I love to paint, yeah. I do a lot of painting. And if you want my email someday, just, uh, you might, uh, want to look it up on YouTube. Answer me through the message something. It's, uh, Joker Lately, and I'm also known as Dude, Eagle Dude, <laughs> and The Fragmenteer. You can get me through Googles, F-R-A-G-M-E-N-T-I-E-R, Fragmenteer. And uh, you can pick me up on the third line in Google's and they'll shoot you through if you're, oh my God, the birds today, I just don't believe this, uh, the birds we have. I only wish, we're, at, we're running six minutes, I can go up to ten minutes, I guess. Um, I don't know, I get excited about birds, I don't know one from another, but this all started one day on a rainy day that I had nothing to do so on but can a camera. And I film and now I find that I'm stuck doing this every day while I'm working my artwork through my computer. Um, here's some more birds fighting for, for seed and they are hungry because I had not fed them for four days. Like I said, I was gambling and losing money in Laughlin, Nevada, but I had a ball with my girlfriend. We had a ball there, I'm telling you. We won and lost and won and lost and the food is great. Edgewater is the place to go if you want to have their breakfast for $2.99 in Edgewater. Once you have their club card, you're going you're gonna to love that. But there are many, not too many shows in Laughlin now, but there's a lot of other fun things to do, if you know what I mean. And uh, we're running seven minutes now. And this poor bird here is swinging on an almost empty uh, bird bell. And uh, you can get those anywhere. That's the fun part of that is you don't have to continue feeding them. We now have birds looking in the mirror, and we have maybe over eight or nine birds in the my bird house. Um, quails are hard to get here. They they scout out, and then they bring their babies. And there's uh, one little guy just posing. He thinks he's a movie star. Um, the quail are, are very fussy. They'll scout first for food, the mom or dad will, and then they'll bring back their family, which is usually seven or eight little b baby quails with the husband, and then they watch like a hawk while their kids eat, looking to make sure there's no coyotes around, because boy coyotes, they just love those quails, the baby quails. And there we have now two beautiful little birds on my, one of my feeders. These feeders are kind of neat. They're only four dollars a and uh, they serve the purpose and the birds love them because the big birds can't get on this because it's too small for them to perch. But a bird like this one, he can eat and uh, nobody's going to bother him and he is and his friend here could be her husband or wife, who knows. Uh, I've never had so many birds in this yard, but like I said, it's due to the fact I wasn't feeding him for four days. I go through to 50 pounds of bird food in a week, and um, it's only because I love birds, and uh, I paint them. I paint coyotes. I paint all kinds of desert scenes. You can see my artwork in YouTube and my space. If you go through uh, Joker lately, or uh, Eagle Dude, these are things they gave me, it wasn't my idea. And uh, it's funny, I, I, I put in 
Yoda Star Wars and it won an award I didn't even want on Metacalf, M-E-T-A-C-A-L-F. Metacalf is good and bad. There's some porn. I don't go for porn, but there's porn in there. But my work is in there. And uh, they don't upload as good as YouTube. YouTube seems to upload 10 minutes, and which is amazing. They must have changed because for a while they weren't uploading so many much. You can see the wind. You can see the wind. It's a strong wind in Tucson. It's been going on like this. Dust storms on the highway and the freeways. I'm going to have to sign off. Have a good day. I love you guys. See me again, Jeans Birds, on YouTube.